Welcome to Calgary, Alberta, our home city. I've been here for 18 years. And I've been here for 12. And lately we've been noticing that a lot of people from all across Canada and different parts of the world are moving to Calgary. So we were wondering why. Yeah, so in this video, we're gonna tell you why we love Calgary, some of the reasons why it's ranked as the third most livable city in the world, and if you're thinking of immigrating to Calgary, how you can immigrate here as well. We're Matt and Carla, a Canadian couple with two totally different backgrounds, sharing our experience and advice about traveling in Canada. So follow along as we continue to explore the second largest country on Earth. is home to 1.4 million people and it ranks between the third or fourth largest city in Canada and in our opinion is one of the most beautiful cities in the country. Yeah, it definitely has one of the best skylines and part of that reason is because we're located in the foothills. So there's actually a lot of hills in Calgary and those hills give you different views of the city. In fact, one of the best ones is right behind us. There's also two major rivers that cross the city, the Elbow and the Bow, which makes it look super beautiful, but also allow us to have one of our favorite activities in the summer, which is paddling down the river. Yeah, that's one of the things you'll notice when you're in Calgary during the summer, is a lot of people go tubing down the river, or maybe kayaking, canoeing, paddleboarding. It's just a really cool thing to have here in the city. And that's actually one of the reasons why we love Calgary the most, is there's just lots of outdoor activities here. There's lots of green spaces. In fact, uh, two of the top 10 largest urban parks in Canada are right in Calgary. We have Nose Hill Park and Fish Creek Provincial Park. And combined with those and all the trails along the river, there's far more than 100 kilometers worth of pathways, both unpaved and paved, to go biking and jogging and just enjoy life outside. Right behind us is iconic Peace Bridge, a really beautiful pedestrian bridge that crosses the Bow River and is right next to Prince's Island Park, which is actually not a far walk from the other viewpoint we were at and is another one of the most popular green spaces in Calgary because it's an island right in the downtown course. Of course, there's lots of festivals here and events and on days like this when it's nice and sunny, people are just out enjoying a walk. And in fact, that's one of the nice things about Calgary. It's the sunniest major city in all of Canada with an average of 333 sunny days each year. Yeah, like right now we're in the middle of October, at the end of fall, and we have a beautiful day. It's actually quite hot. Yeah. And that's one of the things that we love about Calgary is that you get the four seasons. Here we don't get too much of the reds and the oranges, but we get a lot of the yellow trees, which makes the city look super beautiful. And it's actually one of our favorite seasons of the year. But of course, another time that is popular is the summer. That's usually the most popular time of the year. And actually, it's very, very hot here. Yeah, a lot of people don't think that Canada can get so hot, but it's even hotter than Mexico City, where I'm originally from. We reach like 30 or even 35 degrees during the summer. It's actually one day or two days this summer that we reached 40, which I think is a record. Yeah, it's a lot. But on the other hand, we're also known to have very cold winters. Yeah, so usually when people talk about the weather, they'll say Calgary has bad weather. And what they're thinking about is the winter because it does get quite cold. It can go down to minus 30, not usually minus 40, but by the time you're at minus 30, it doesn't matter. It's really, really cold. Which I don't think is a bad thing because we get a lot of snow and that open the possibility to enjoy a lot of fun winter activities. Yeah, to me, if you're gonna have a winter, you might as well have a proper winter. I and mean, snow is just so beautiful to look at. There are some other cities that people often compare us to, like Vancouver and Victoria, because it's much milder. They don't get much snow, but they also get a lot of clouds and a lot of rain, which can be more depressing. Here, when it's minus 30, you can still have a blue sky, just like today with the sun shining on your face. And it's actually quite nice. And like they said, there's no bad weather, just bad clothes. <laughs> But then we get like nice breaks with these things happening called Chinook. Yeah, so a Chinook is a kind of wind that blows through here. I believe it's an indigenous word that stands for snow eater because it literally does melt the snow. It can be minus 20, minus 30 one day and the next day plus 10. It's a huge fluctuation in temperature and it's kind of crazy that you can go from like wearing a winter jacket one day to potentially being out in a sweater like this the next. There's another season that Canada is known for, and that's construction season, because during the summer, 
there's construction everywhere and especially in Calgary because it's growing quite fast. Some things that I noticed about Canada is that they try to do everything pretty like who will paint these boards that are placed for construction just to make it look not as ugly. Well, that was a very good pad thai and yellow curry. Yeah, we love Thai food and we actually just finished having lunch here in Eau Claire Mall, a really, really quiet mall that's next to Princess Island Park. But it actually brings me to one of the points that I love about not just Calgary, but Canada in general is our diversity of cultures. We have people from around the world and one of the benefits of that is you get food from around the world. And in fact, Calgary is actually the third most diverse major city in Canada with more than 120 languages spoken. Oh my which God, is crazy. Pretty crazy. I haven't learned them all yet. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> And uh, no, actually, but I think the reason why a lot of immigrants choose Calgary is because of our high quality of life. In fact, we've been ranked consistently as one of the top five cities for a quality of life in the entire world. And one of the reasons for that high quality of life is the job market. So we actually pull up some stats and Calgary has one of the fastest rates of employment growth in the country. And a big part of that is made up by immigrants. They actually uh, consists of more than 30% of the workforce in all industries here and it also has we also have one of the highest um, aging groups of people 55 and over still working which means they're going to be retiring soon and we're going to have a lot of spots to fill that's why we need a lot of young families and that's why immigration is uh, so high in Calgary and why we need more immigrants. So if anyone watching this video is interested in immigrating into Canada, we actu we're actually partnering in this video with Relocate, which provides all kinds of assistance for the different immigration programs here in Canada. Because I remember when I moved into Canada, like what, like 12 years ago or something from Mexico City, I remember that it can be a time like pretty stressful, pretty unclear because you don't know what's the best immigration path that you should take. Also, there can be like a lot of difficulties along the process. So now that we have the opportunity to look more into this company, I really think that uh, they are one of the best options for anyone that is interested in immigrating into Canada. So for example, if you want to get a work permit, they can also help you with that. They can help you with your, your resume, your CV, to make sure it's up to Canadian standards. They can even send it to employers for you and work with you along the way with all the government procedures. Or maybe you want to move here permanently so they can actually provide you full support on that, including your family members. But no matter which program you want to choose, even if you just want to come and travel, uh, one thing that I really like is that every Relocate client gets a kind of like a personal assistant, which can make the whole process very easy, simple and cost effective. Because we get a lot of messages from different people wondering what's the best way to immigrate, that it's super stressful. So why not let the professionals do it for you? Yeah, one of the cool things about Relocate is they've developed a system, a series of questions to help narrow down the different programs that you can apply for. So to start that process, just find the link in our description, click on that, fill out all the information, and then through a series of emails, they'll find more information about you, and then they'll actually contact you, and you can speak to a real representative, ask any questions you have, free of charge. Then, of course, they'll find the program you're best suitable for, and you can apply to come to Canada. Now that we're walking in downtown Calgary, we can start noticing the Plus 15 network. So this is kind of unique to Calgary. It's a series of indoor bridges that are, I believe, 15 feet oh, high. above ground. That's why they're called meters? I think it's Plus 15, 15 feet, yeah. yeah. And it's kind of cool because I think together they something create like 60 kilometers worth of pathways between all the buildings down here. So in the winter, you don't have to come outside. <laughs> How smart. Yes.
We're now on Stephen Avenue, which is the oldest street in Calgary and one of the most popular places to explore in downtown Calgary just because it's so pretty and there's lots of boutique shops and restaurants and things like that. But going back to the point of high quality of life, another one of the reasons is it's got a relatively low cost of living, at least in comparison to major cities in Canada. So of course it's not cheap, Canada is definitely not a cheap place to live. But in comparison to places like Toronto and Vancouver, Calgary is about half the price. This is both in terms of rent and buying a place. Now, of course, if you want to stay down here and have an apartment, it's going to be a little more expensive. But if you get towards the outskirts of the city, it can get quite cheap and you can probably find a one bedroom at least for maybe $1,200 a month, which is pretty good. But another cool part about Calgary is it's clean. It's actually been voted a few times as the cleanest city in the entire world. And this is for a variety of reasons, including a high recycling rate, super clean water and availability, clean air, low pollution, and so much more. I really love this street. I love all the heritage buildings. Even though there's a lot of people, I haven't seen any garbage. Well, we're now at the C train station, about to take it back to our home, and that's why we wanted to talk about transportation. Obviously, transportation is an important part of moving to a new city, and something Calgary has is two things. They have the bus network and they have the C train. The C train is really efficient. It's a train, so it's on a track, it comes on time, all that kind of stuff. We love taking it. The buses, we've heard they're a bit slow, they're not as efficient. We've never been on one, so we can't really comment. But definitely, if you're living on the farther stretches of the city, you'd want to either live near C train or have a car. Calgary is definitely a very uh, driving city. A lot of people here have cars because it's so spread out and because there's lots of things to do nearby. So just something to consider. If you're gonna be living farther out, you might wanna factor in the cost of a car as well. So a ticket for the C train is $3.60 as of now. It's good for 90 minutes, and that includes your bus and C train. Another thing I forgot to mention is that C train travels actually free when you're in the downtown core. And last but not least, we live close to one of the most beautiful places in the world, the Canadian Rockies. Yeah, well, our apartment's only about an hour and a half from Banff National Park, which is one of the most famous, I think it's actually the number one visited national park in Canada. So many amazing hiking opportunities in the summer, some of the best ski resorts in the world in the winter. There's just so many opportunities for outdoor adventure here. And that's not even it. We're also super close to the Icefields Parkway, which is voted as the number one road trip in the world. We're close to the Kananaskis, yes. which is also amazing for hiking. We're close to Cowboy Trail, close to a lot of the prairies. And if you go east an hour and a half, we're also close to Drumheller. Yes, which is the opposite of the high mountains. You go down into the canyons. You know, the Canadian Badlands and known as the dinosaur capital of the world. So even though Calgary is such an awesome place, so is everything around it. So it really is a cool place to live. So as you can see, Calgary is a great place to live. And that is why a lot of people are moving here. Yeah, and in some ways we'd rather not everyone move here <laughs> because it would keep things a little cheaper. But we know that it's going to happen either way. So we might as well tell you how awesome it is. And hopefully you're awesome too. So we have even more awesome people. Exactly. So if you're interested in immigrating to Calgary or to Canada in general, don't forget to click that link in our description. It's a super easy form to fill out. It's free. And then you'll know the different options you have for moving to what we think is the number one country in the world. And hopefully we answer all of your questions about whether you should move here or not. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. We always love to hear from everyone. And if you want to learn about all the things to do in Calgary, as well as many destinations across Canada, check out our website at mustdocanada.com. Now there's nothing cuter than the ducks with their bum up in the air <laughs> as they search for food. And one thing that we were always wondering is that since it's so cold, why the train system is not underground? It would be much more efficient, but it's not. So <laughs> if you're watching this and you're from the city of Calgary, let us know why. 